Good morning. It's about 900 degrees. There's your weather report. We're supposed to get some rain today. One can only hope. I think my daughter's coming over with the kids again. And we're going to get back in the pool. And we've been in the pool all weekend. I told you that Carter spent the night Saturday, which was great. Tom and I went out Friday night to hear Steve and Jason play at a local Italian place, which was very sweet. And I actually got up and did a song with Steve and Jason and some other guy, Alan, maybe. Let my soul shine a little bit, which was great. And then Saturday, Carter came over and we just had a great day. We hung out, we went and got something to eat, drove around looking for Pokemon, played some games, did some fireworks. We still had some sparklers and stuff left over from 4th of July. Nothing too loud, you know, just real pretty colors. And then my daughter and her husband and my granddaughter, it was a big family weekend. So even though it was hot as heck, we had the luxury of the pool, which was holding up great. I got to hang out with Peggy a little bit. It just was a really nice weekend. So, and actually I finally, Tom stopped at the post office and picked up some happy mail which has probably been sitting there for a little while. So I'll share that with you guys. And super, super blessed. Loving you guys. I got really nothing too major on the agenda. Um, I need to go out later and pick up a birthday cake. It's my daughter's, my youngest daughter's 28th birthday tomorrow. I cannot believe that my baby girl is gonna be 28 which makes me old. <laughs> I'm still on the edge of 17 forever. <clears throat> and we had a little change of plans this weekend. I told you that I'm going to see Hart this coming weekend. Well, my dear friend Holly had some personal issues going on and she lives quite a distance away and it's not gonna work out, so we will not be reuniting on the field and I'm kind of debating on whether or not I just want to sell the tickets or go with someone else, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but that's, that's what happened with that. And that's about the update on my exciting life for right now. So let's go in, do our routine, figure out if the kids are coming over and I will keep you posted. We'll be opening some happy mail today. I'll see you inside. I also have a cool knife set I want to show you that Tom got me from Walmart. Super cool. Okay, as per usual, total change of plans. Just spoke with my daughter. She's going to come tomorrow. It's actually supposed to get some thunder showers later on this afternoon, which we really need. So Tom and I are going to go out to lunch and enjoy the day together. So I'll take the Happy Mail with me, and we'll open it over at the cave. All right? But I'll take you guys with me, and that's what I'm doing. We went up going, I forgot to mention before, we went to an Italian place last night that I went to years ago. Um, it's a little more on the pricey side, you know, um, but well worth it. And we went last night and it was amazing. So I think today we may get some Greek food. I'll take you guys along with me and yeah, that's that. See you. Alright guys, I didn't really have time for breakfast this morning, so I'm just going to bring these pineapple rings with me in the car on the way to lunch. Here it comes, you guys. I just made it. It's already starting to rain. Boy, you can smell it in the air. I can smell lightning. Okay, getting on the road. 
Oh my God, you guys. I cannot believe how hard it's coming down right now. I literally made it to my car in just the nick of time. It's nuts. So I feel like the only time I talk to you is in the car anymore. I hope you don't mind. It just gives me uninterrupted stretches of time. Boy, I should put on that back wiper, right? Wow, it's really coming down. All right, listen, I'm gonna concentrate on my drive in here and you probably can't hear me anyway. So, oh, here comes the trucks. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get in Tom's. So I made it to the car dry, but there was no way I made it out of the car dry. It is like gale force, torrential rain out there right now. But we're going to give it a few minutes and then we'll try to brave it. So, see you in a minute. Today I have a medium hot caramel swirl macchiato made with cream and a medium hot mocha swirl macchiato made with almond milk paste. And a pretzel. And then we'd like one hot pretzel. I'm gonna get hit with the wiper water, it's great. Oh, oh. We were passing by the racetrack and we saw the horses out, so we thought we'd stop. Check them out, guys. The trotters are trotting. See if any more come around the track, which they will. That was fun enough. Okay, guys, seems like the rain has stopped and I'm gonna look for a rainbow now. We're just at the gas station filling up and we're gonna head out and get some Greek food. OMG, you guys. These guys must be on vacation or something. Nobody vacation somewhere in the cat skill. This what? is two days in a row we tried to come for Greek food and it is not meant to be. Bomber! Plan B. All right, now we're on a quest for miso soup. There's an organic farm stand type place. Uh, Korean market here in Liberty, so we're gonna check it out. Okay, we got some miso soup, which I'll show you in a minute. We got these brown rice soybean curd with spicy mayo. These are our favorite. It's just avocado, cucumber, seaweed, and rice. And some drinks and some watermelon. We're gonna eat. These are amazing. Lots of wasabi. This is what Tom got. Okay guys, I'm back at the cave and I'm going to open some Happy Mail. We had a really nice lunch and the rain stopped for now, but we're supposed to get hit with another storm tonight, so we'll see. This is, eh... Got a little bit of a cough syrup taste to it. <laughs> but I'll finish it. Yeah, so I was super stoked. Tom went to the post office and picked up some mail. Excuse me. I'll put everybody's links below. But I'm just going to do these in no particular order. And thank you in advance, everyone. I love you guys so much. And I will be getting happy mail out this week. So... This first one is from the one and only Hickety Pickety, and I adore her, Sonia. Um, so I was super stoked to see this in, in the mailbox, 
and I just, I love her sense of humor. I love her artwork. She's got a very whimsical style. She's super cool. So check her out. And this was a total surprise. So thank you very much, my friend. Oh. Okay, speaking of her artwork, this is one of her pieces. This is Funked Up Art. And it's cool that I'm doing this here because I can show these to Tom too. But how cool is that, you guys? Isn't she great? I love this, Sonia. Thank you so much. Aww. Well, she just sent me a good message of love, and I feel the same way about you. That really brightened up my afternoon. Thank you so much. I love you, and I love your videos, and I'm going to frame this. It'll go on the refrigerator first, but I need to get some frames. So, thank you. That's wonderful. I love you guys so much. I'm not going to cry, I promise. Okay, this next one is from my dear friend Dina, and you've heard me talk about her before, Milady Leela. Um, she's wonderful. She's the one who sent me amazing gifts and happy mail in the past, including those Russian sunflowers, which are growing on the on the deck, but they have not yet bloomed. So and she's also a musician, a wonderful vocalist. She sings in a band with her husband, and she's super cool. So if you haven't checked her out, please do. Tell her Callie sent you. Aw, thank you, Dina. I love you. She does these beautiful coffee filters. Oh, you spoil me, sister. Oh, she knows my colors, too. Look at these guys. Gorgeous. I love to decoupage these. They're gorgeous. So I will be incorporating these in some artwork. Thank you, sweet Dina. Love it. Ooh, look at this one. I got two for the price of one there. Oh, these are great. I love these. She also sent this beautiful gypsy paper clip. Love it. I'll definitely use that in a journal. And I'm going to read, before I open these, I'm going to read her note. Sunflower seeds. Aw. She said they've been charging in the sun and moonlight. And they're ready to be planted now. Thank you, sister. And she did this little card here. And... Her sweetheart. Now that the uh, ground is nice and moist, <laughs> maybe I'll put these in next to the deck. It's getting kind of late for planting now. Thank you so much. And what is this, Dina? I don't know what this is. Like a, some kind of a sticker or something, or... I don't know what it is. Let me know what this is, sister. Tell me, tell me. It's cool. It's nice and cushy. Maybe it was just padding. I don't know. What is this? I love you. Blessed be. Mwah. Okay, and another one. This is another repeat ref offender. Miss Cynthia Perry, my friend from Vermont, sending me this gorgeous envelope. I didn't expect this at all, and I'm just so blessed. I know I always say that, but it's true. I'm going to make a special box for all my Happy Mail notes and everything. I have them in a folder right now, but what is this? Oh, my 
love it. Look at this card, you guys. Aww. Thank you, Cynthia. This is a wonderful note. Um, is this a pin? Oh, how cute! You guys, this is a pin. This comes off. I love that. Aww. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Oh, well, Cynthia. Cynthia has a channel on YouTube, but she hasn't posted any videos. But she's saying that she's going to be doing that. So if I can be any help to you, sister, I mean, believe me, I barely know what I'm doing either. But I, I do know how to upload a video and use the YouTube editor. So if you need help with that, let me know. That's great. Thank you so much for your note. I love you. And then, again, speaking of repeat offenders, my sister Deb Woten. Check out this envelope, you guys. Love it. It's beautiful. I'll be saving all this washi tape. I should have slipped these before we started, but I didn't. You guys are so good. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. Thank you. She sent me rhubarb seeds. I think this is a great idea. I love getting seeds. I love planting seeds. Deb, these are from your garden. That's amazing. And she also sent me some instructions. Um, and that's, that's really great. I can't wait to try this. I've never grown rhubarb. I remember as a kid, um, we had a neighbor who would make rhubarb pie. But, and we would, you know, it's so sour when you take it raw. That's very cool. And check these out. I'm assuming you made these. They're gorgeous. What a great idea. Is that a toothpick? Oh, so she said the seeds are from a plant that was in her grandmother's yard. And then her mom planted it in her yard. And then when her mom died, she planted it. And now it's coming to me. <laughs> oh. I'm, well, I'm honored. Thank you so much, Deb. That's amazing. And, you know, that's funny. That's one of the few things that both my sister and I wanted um, from my mom's place were her plants and orchids and things like that. So I know how special that is. And I'm really honored that you sent me that. Thank you. And she said, the feathers she made with washi tape. That's great. These are really cool. Check these out, you guys. I love this idea. It's a toothpick. Aren't these beautiful? I love these, Deb. I may have to incorporate these into a project. Or maybe I'll t take up a challenge and try to make some on my own. These are great. I love them. Beautiful job. Thank you, sister. You're a wonderful friend, and I appreciate your generous spirit. Thank you so much. That's incredible. You guys just light up my life. And last but not least, um, she actually had sent me a message asking if I received this. <sighs> From Nancy Vastine, and she has a channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Nancy. I love this postcard. And I told you I live in a one-horse town, so sometimes our mail gets stuck at a neighboring location and hangs out for a while. But this is beautiful. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Thank you for sending me good wishes and your love. I love this. I love these stamps. 
Tell me um, where you got these stamps or who makes them. I love them. I adore this card. Thank you so, so much. Um, you guys rock. Thank you so much. I appreciate your generosity. Thank you for thinking of me. I will be getting out happy mail this week. I know I keep saying that, but it's, you guys know, it's been craziness uh, in a good way. But um, I do need to get my butt moving. So I will be doing that. And I love you guys so much. I'm going to just call it a day. It's about 4.30 right now, honestly. And I'm going to upload these clips and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening with my Tom. And I hope you guys are having a great day too. So I'll see you Wednesday. Okay. Take care. Peace and love. Talk to you soon.